What you're seeing now is I'm snorkeling and I drop my jig for the first time after giving these fish some peas. And as soon as I drop my jig down, you start to see all of these fish get interested in it. Welcome back guys. Thank you for checking out another episode. In this video, we are hand lining reef fish in Maui. We just got back from a vacation where we spent seven days there. We actually were able to bring our rods and some fishing gear. That's just a quick tip. If you guys do travel to Hawaii using Southwest Airlines, you actually get two check bags, one of which could be a rod tube, and you can actually use that as one of your check bags. So we were able to bring four rods and we put our reels in our other check bag. So we definitely had gear. But we ended up doing all of the normal touristy stuff. We did the hikes, we did the road to Hana, which included waterfalls, black sand beach, a lot of cool things. So if you guys haven't been to Maui, definitely check it out. But I know you guys aren't here to hear about our vacation. You're here to see the hand lining of fish and you're here at this channel for the fishing content mainly. So let's get to that. So the day we got there, we just settled in, but the very next day, Bob and I decided to go ahead and just cast some lures right in front of our hotel just to see what it's like, see if we can't catch anything on the jerk baits that we brought. That's not the best part of the story on that particular day, but when we got back, we were gonna go back into our condo and this happened. Should we? I don't know. Hey, look at the what? No. No. Bro, no. we're we're in Maui. What are you doing? Hell yeah, bro. No. Get out of here, bro. How random. What's up, bro? What's your name? Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. You too, man. We're trying, man. Where are you from? Yeah, uh, California. Oh, of course. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That means a lot, Robbie. Hey, hey I saw you going that way, and then I walked this way. Or there's hella, there's hella guppies off this. Hey. Uh, so we ended up running into somebody who follows us on Instagram, who watches the videos. His name's Robbie, and the cool part about that, even if we didn't catch fish, we met a new friend, and we were able to go take him on our Guys, second fishing Robbie. trip we there, right off of the a jetty that we found after talking to somebody at GJ's Tackle. But man, super awesome. That definitely just had to be mentioned. So shout out to you, Robbie, for saying what's up and hopefully we can connect here in California. After that session, we ended up fishing a couple more spots that we heard about from, again, Glenn at GJ's Tackle. So again, shout out to you. But we ended up fishing that spot and then fishing another spot and nothing either on both of those. So we're three trips in, not a bite. So we just called it a day. We literally put the rods back in the rod tube and just called it. We're like, all right, we're not going to pull these out anymore the rest of the trip. We're just going to enjoy the time with our wives. Be good husbands. Bob is actually, if you kind of an inside joke, he's actually the president of the Good Husbands Club. That's, that's Bob. <laughs> but we went snorkeling earlier in the trip, but I didn't film any of it. It was amazing. We saw turtles, a ton of reef fish, but this time I had an idea. <laughs> I took my spool that I brought a 15 pound test and I took crappie jigs that I got uh, from my last mystery tackle box from my trout and panfish box which by the way this video is sponsored by mystery tackle box if you guys want I will leave a link in the description but it is a great service if you want to target a certain species and you are not sure what types of lures to get mystery tackle box actually curates a box that comes to you monthly where if you select bass, they'll send you bass lures every month. If you select trout, panfish, they'll send you those. I toggled to the trout and panfish. Long story short, I was able to bring the crappie jigs that came from the trout and panfish box that I got in a previous box. I brought that with me just in case. So I brought those when we went snorkeling. Another thing that I did also which you'll see is I brought peas, frozen peas from the supermarket. Now, 
it is not illegal, but it is kind of frowned upon. So do as I say, not as I do. Try not to do it, but it's pretty cool to bring frozen peas because you could squish them up and the fish just start coming to you. <laughs> so what you're seeing now is I'm snorkeling and I drop my jig for the first time after giving these fish some peas. And as soon as I drop my jig down, you start to see all of these fish get interested in it. There's even a spot, check this out. When I drop my jig, an umilu actually comes, which is a blue trevelli. And that is a, such a prized fish, but it pretty much checked out my bait and swam away. But there's all of these fish known as sergeant majors, uh, but they have a little black spot, so they're black spotted sergeants. That's actually what bit first. So I had the jig down and this really cool chub, this blue chub comes up, checks out my bait, swims away, checks it out again, and then swims away again. But then this spotted sergeant comes and grabs the, the bait and I'm just so excited about this. You could hear me screaming under the water. <laughs> I did it again and I'm getting attention from all these other fish and I was able to get another sergeant so that was really awesome. I was so excited when I got out of the water, I was telling Ashley all about it. And I put in a fresh new battery and went out again. And it actually is a lot harder than it seemed, hand lining out there, but it did take a lot of my time. I could have done that literally all day. But in this bay that we were snorkeling in, one side was kind of dirtier, not as clean water, held a lot of fish and rocks. And then on the other side of the bay was a lot clearer conditions. It was already an hour into snorkeling, so Veronica, Bob, and Ashley were done snorkeling. And I told them I never checked out that other spot. I was having too much fun catching those other fish over there on the other side. So they were gracious enough to say, Edward, go ahead. We'll stay on shore. Go ahead and check out that clear water. As soon as I got there, I saw beautiful reef, nice coral. I did see a lot of white sand, a lot different than the first place that I was uh, going for these fish. And I came upon this rock pile. And it's funny because your goggles, when you're in water, it's magnified. So even if a fish, a fish is tiny, it looks giant when you're wearing these goggles, or maybe even if you're not, just the way that water acts is it, it acts as a magnifier. So everything looks giant. Even like my hands in front of my like goggles looked ginormous, but it won't look like that on the GoPro very much. But I was looking down and I was targeting this one big uh, spotted sergeant and it just looked massive and it was just guarding this rock and I was pulling peas out of my uh, pocket trying to get it into that feeding mode. So I was dropping those peas, which by the way, <laughs> I know I'm rambling, kind of going back and forth, but the reason they don't, the people don't like you feeding reef uh, fish is because it does add extra nutrients into the water and it can kind of throw off the balance a little bit, but a pocket full of peas maybe didn't hurt, maybe, but it definitely got that sergeant 
in the mood. Uh, so I was dropping those peas and then I dropped the jig and I got him to look at it a few times. I actually ended up tipping the crappie jig with uh, a pea. And then, so I'm like trying to target him and I end up getting a really awesome fish. So this fish that I got on the line right now is is the blue striped snapper. And guys, it was such a fun fight. It was kind of a surprise because he literally came out of nowhere. I was not expecting it. It was probably stalking that crappie jig the whole time. That was pretty cool getting that beautiful yellow and blue blue striped snapper amazing fish really beautiful fish uh, got to unhook it and let it go and that's just a crazy feeling too being in the water with the fish and seeing them up close and personal and actually targeting them is really crazy and then after i let that fish go i did not turn my gopro back on so i went back targeted that sergeant major and I actually got him. So I turned on my GoPro right as I was bringing it in. So, man, that was like literally the best time. That was probably funner than catching fish on the shore or anything like that. And just the fact that I was able to do it with just a spool of pea line and a little crappie jig. Like literally we brought, I'd say $600 worth of rods, maybe, the same in terms of reels and all these $20 lures. We even bought lures at the shop, but literally all I needed was a spool of pea line. I had 15 pound on there and a crappie jig and a pocket full of peas. That just goes to show like if you want to catch fish, you can definitely catch fish. I know earlier in the trip we were targeting big fish. We wanted the umilu. We wanted the lua, which is a giant trevally which are really hard to catch. We actually planned this trip wrong timing in terms of the tide. It was all low tide during the whole day. High tide was like in the evening time when we were doing things out and about. But as I mentioned, just hand lining those fish was really awesome. They actually sell um, actual hand lines that look like donuts where you can get those. So I'm really tempted to get one before going to Hawaii or anywhere else where I might be doing some snorkeling. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, even if it's a lot different than everything else that's on the channel. But if you want to check out more of what we do here in California, we'll go ahead and leave a link right over here. But one thing that I'm planning on doing in these next few months is definitely swinging hard for some white sea bass. I've never caught one of those. Just to give you guys a, a little bit of a peek of what is going on in here. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.